sure. Renaissance Fair clips. So me and my partner went over the weekend on Saturday. I'm gonna start off with some things that they don't really tell you online. We thought that you could only use cash because that's what a lot of other people have said. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and other people who have gone to Washington State Snohomish Renaissance Fair. It used to not be in Snohomish but Prior to that, you would have to use cash. A lot of the vendors, supposedly, you can only pay with cash. So <laughs> that's what we thought. So that's what we prepared for. It turns out a good majority of the vendors, you, they take card. They have a machine, you can stick a card in it, whatever. And it's the usual paying method, plastic money. You don't have to, but there are tons and tons of ATM machines all around the fair. So if you want to take out cash for a particular vendor who happens to not, you know, use a card method and you need to pay in cash, they have them. I do not know if there is a fee, a charge fee. Usually there is when it's just a generic ATM, but you'd have to find out because we went to our own bank and got money out for this. So no charge fee, or you can just have cash on you and just use cash. So. I'd rather have just had the cash in the first place because everybody takes cash. Maybe one day they won't. One day it'll all be strictly plastic money. But I, hopefully I will not live to see that day. But until I am pretty old, I'm an old person. We actually did not buy any material items. There wasn't anything there that really caught my eye. A lot of the things there are Norse and Celtic. Most of you who watch my channel know that that's not my path, not in particular. My partner likes a lot of those things, but I'm Egyptian style eclectic. 
Uh, I like my own culture. I like anything Aztec or the Mayans or something Latin American. That's my preference. Or anything that has to do with like India, because I work with Ganesh. Anything Egyptian magic is in those like Middle Eastern sort of deities are like up my alley. But since it's so strongly pushed towards Celtic and Norse gods at this fair, you're rarely gonna find any of that. I found some cool Bostet candles, had some evil eye jewelry. It wasn't a lot. There wasn't very many there, but uh, like things like that, they were so sparse and in between that there was really nothing there that I liked, that I personally enjoyed. So, I mean, if you like Celtic and Norse and that's like your calling for your path, then you'll love this place. You'll love it. Like they'll have tons of things for you to blow your money on. <laughs> I just was not one of those lucky few. I happen to be still the black sheep out in that type of community. So I don't fit in anywhere, guys. What else should I cover? Because I didn't film a lot of me because I have really bad anxiety going to these things, going to anything that has a lot of people and I didn't drink prior, you know? Like <laughs> I showed up sober. So then I have to deal with all the anxiety and, and the tension, too much energy is going on. And I'm like, I can't. I just can't filter it properly. Some days are better than others, but today is now Sunday. It's the day after. I was I was so spent. We were only there for four hours. Four hours. And then we got food. We didn't eat all day, basically, which was probably a bad thing. I went and got a few drinks, so did my partner, and then that calmed my nerves down pretty good. But I still just wasn't very impressed. <laughs> I think I hyped it up a little too much by watching like YouTube videos of Renaissance fairs in like other states like Nevada and uh, California like they have Renaissance fairs there where the structures are built in there's no tents so if you I mean there's some but it's not like Washington's Renaissance fair it is different you have structures and structured bathrooms to walk into and they make it look old and medieval and like, it's really cool looking. Here, not so much. <laughs> There's only so many structures. The One of the most popular ones that you're gonna see like in the, vi in the video clips that I have are when you first walk in and they have like this bridge structure where the queen comes out and does her little speech and whatnot. Other than that, the only other structural area is like the food court area and then the rest is just porta potty central tents tents more tents so it kind of destroys the vibe in a way at least for me i like to see like old towns and stuff so i was like you know even if it's just the front face is just some cut out play hut and then inside is a tent at least that like gives you more of an imagery than just seeing a tent but I understand if they're gonna keep trying to move this fair around all over Washington that you can't build structures. You're just gonna end up knocking them down and that's a lot of money and I, I don't know. I, I'd still rather have a structured place <laughs> to go into, to walk around in. I don't really enjoy tents, it's not my thing. For those of you who don't care about that, then you'll probably enjoy yourself more, so. I didn't obviously enjoy myself as much as I was hoping I would. I saw a lot of other people enjoying their fairs in their states. And when I came to this one, I was like, nah, I think I ruined it for myself. I shouldn't have watched any videos. I shouldn't went in blind, you know, expect the worst or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know, some of the people there were cool. The workers there, they really try to, you know, liven your spirits and make you feel like you're part of that era. So that's good. The shows were good. The singing was good. I have some clips of that in there. So really, if anything you're gonna go for is going to be the shows. The shows are really cool. They have like their own version of folk music that they'll sing there. So that's really cool as well. Those things kind of give you the ethereal vibes that you're looking for when you go to something like this. But as far as the imagery, when you walk in, they've tried they tried to do like their own tent ikea setup of medieval you know when you see the tents it ruins it like <laughs> it 
just ruined it so much for me, the fucking tents. All that <laughs> set aside, there are certain things that you will like about it. So I can't say cross that shit off your list entirely, don't go, it's crap. This one just wasn't for me. If I was in a different state, I'd try it again. But the Washington one, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care to go back. If there was something else that was kind of like it that was happening in Washington, I'd give it a shot. I don't have high hopes though, because a lot of things in Washington really disappoint me. Man, no offense to any of you who love it here, but I do not. I cannot wait to move out of the state. Other than that, here's a cool fact. I was the only one who came as a gypsy witch. Everyone else like played up the Viking Norse. I want to be a fairy thing and there's wizards there. Everybody wants to look like the wizard guy from Lord of the Rings, so I'm not surprised with that either. There's nothing there that was like so surprising, you know? Like, it was just so mainstream of like what they put in your face, like what Marvel can do with Thor and shit, you know? It's not anything that had like true pagan roots that can like, you know, open up your eyes and be like, oh, I can connect with that. You know, it's just, it's for show. It's for show. Maybe I should actually try going to a pagan festival. I might enjoy that better because anything that was looked witchy at the Renaissance Fair was not actual witchy items. They had tons of potion bottles that were filled with like glycerin or water and they would put glitter in there and they call it a potion bottle and they'll put a label on it of like whatever you want it to be. And it's literally, and they have like a little book, a pamphlet that says this is plus 100 health or you can poison someone with this or, and it was video game stats. It's not real witchcraft. So it's very disappointing for someone who actually practices witchcraft to see it presented like that. To me, that's kind of disgraceful. Video games, I play them to escape. Yes, I like to see witchcraft in video games, but it's weird seeing it like that <laughs> because I know what the real stuff looks like and I know what I do and what other practitioners do and that's just not it. That just, I was like, what the fuck is this? And you're gonna charge $30 for this little fucking bottle? This isn't going to manifest jack shit. This is a fake potion. It's just water and glitter. <laughs> I mean, I know you can do magics with water and if you want to color coordinate, you can, but I know they didn't actually put the thought and the blessings and, you know, the actual enchanting into it. It's literally just a fake potion to make you feel like you're in your video game. <sighs> yeah. Uh, we walked around, we looked at all the things, and after four hours, I was like, I'm done. I can't do this shit anymore. <laughs> So we left. I had a really bad headache. I think I was pretty dehydrated. We didn't eat anything. There wasn't really anything there that we were like, yeah, that sounds great. Nothing sounded great. So we left, got food, went home. I showered, took off all the makeup, and I laid down and I literally slept for the rest of the day and all through the night. That's how emotionally exhausted I was from being at this damn fair. Being around a lot of people for that long of a time like exhausts the shit out of me because I'm trying to protect my energy and, and stay neutral but it's it's just too fucking much. And on top of that my period's gonna start any fucking day and I'm so annoyed that it's just not starting like right now so I can just get it over with. <sighs> yeah. So here's some clips. If you want to go, go. Don't let my stupid opinions ruin it for you. But I'm just keep some things in mind. If you go and you have a purse, bring the damn purse with you. Put a water bottle in that thing because they won't check your bag. Okay? If you have water that you're trying to just carry in there, they're not going to let you take it. Okay? Put it in your friend's purse or your girlfriend's purse, whatever. Whoever's carrying a bag, you carry the water, okay? you're better off bringing it with you because it's cheaper than trying to get it in there, even though they do have water stations. So if you bring a mug that latches to your belt or something like that, that you can just fill up, then you can go to the water station. I don't know how clean the water is. And if that's a, you know, you got a thing with clean water, 
bring your own water. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy the clips. And until next time, I will see all you lovely little brujitas later.